Well, this is interesting. Man, economy, and state. This playlist is narrated. Uh, Liberty in our time. Says down here, um, Creative Commons. Creative Commons. Free to share, copy, redistribute in any medium. I subscribe to the Mises Media channel. PDF version. Got the whole book here. Um, I'll share these links. Let's uh, let's have a look at the book. Hopefully, um, I'll link back to this stuff. I'm not going to look for any money. Just reading and looking at this. So, man, economy, and state with power and market by uh, Murray Rothbard. Power market, government, and the economy. There's uh, Murray Rothbard. Ludwig von Mises Institute. To Ludwig von Mises, Man, Economy, and State, and to Libertarians of the Past, who blaze the trail, and to Libertarians of the Future, who shall overcome power in the market. Ludwig von Mises Institute dedicates this volume to all of its generous donors and wishes to thank these patriots, in particular George W. Connell. Man, Economy, and State, a Treatise on Economic Principles. Contents, Introduction to the Second Edition of Man, Economy, and State with Power and Market by Joseph Salerno, Preface to the Revised Edition. Fundamentals of Human Action is Chapter 1, which includes... The concept of action, first implications of the concept, further implications, the means, further implications, time, further implications, that includes ends and values and the law of marginal utility, factors of production, the law of returns, factors of production, convertibility, and valuation, factors of production, labor versus leisure, the formation of capital, action as an exchange, and the Appendix A is Praxology and Economics, Appendix B on Means and Ends. Chapter 2 is Direct Exchange, Types of Interpersonal Action, Violence, Types of Interpersonal Action, Voluntary Exchange, and the Contractual Society. Exchange in the Division of Labor, terms of exchange, determination of price, equilibrium price, elasticity on demand, speculation in supply and demand schedules, stock in the total demand to hold, continuing markets and changes in price, specialization in production of stock, types of exchangeable goods, property, the appropriation of raw land, Enforcement against invasion of property. The pattern of indirect exchange. The limitations of direct exchange. The emergence of indirect exchange. Some implications of the emergence of money. The monetary unit. Money income and money expenditures. Producers expenditures. Maximizing income and allocating resources. Chapter 4 covers price, prices and consumption. 1. Money prices. 2. Determination of money prices. 
Three, determination of supply and demand schedules. Gains of exchange, the marginal utility of money, which includes the consumer, the money regression, utility and costs, planning, and the range of choice. Interrelations among the prices of consumer goods, the prices of durable goods and their services, welfare comparisons, and the ultimate satisfactions of the com consumer. Uh, some fallacies relating to utility. Appendix A, the diminishing marginal utility of money. Appendix B, on value. Chapter 5, Production, the Structure. That includes some fundamental principles of action, the evenly rotating economy, the structure of production, a world of specific factors, joint ownership of the product by the owners of the factors, cost, ownership of the product by capitalists, amalgamated stages, present and future goods, the pure rate of interest, money costs, prices, and Alfred Marshall, pricing, and the theory of bargaining. Chapter 6, Production, the Rate of Interest and its Determination. That includes many stages, the pure rate of interest, the determination of the pure rate of interest, the time market, time preference and individual value scales, the time market and the production structure, time preference, capitalists and individual money stock, the post-income demanders, the myth of the importance of the producer's loan market, the joint stock company, joint stock companies and the producer's loan market, forces affecting time preferences, the time structure of interest rates, and the appendix, Schumpeter and the zero rate of interest. Chapter 7, Production, General Pricing of the Factors. That includes imputation of the discounted marginal value product, determination of the discounted marginal value product, discounting the marginal physical product, the law, uh, including the law of returns and marginal physical product and average physical product, um, marginal value product. Uh, three, the source of factor incomes, then land and capital goods, capitalization and rent, the depletion of natural resources, uh, Appendix A, marginal physical and marginal value product, Appendix B, Professor Ralph and the discounted marginal productivity theory, Chapter 8, production, entrepreneurship and change, entrepreneurial profit and loss, the effect of net investment, Capital values and aggregate profits in a changing economy. Capital accumulation in the length of the structure of production. The adoption of a new technique. The entrepreneur and innovation. The beneficiaries of saving investment. The progressing economy and the pure rate of interest. The entrepreneurial component in the market interest rate. Risk, uncertainty, and insurance. Chapter 9, Production, Particular Factor Prices, and Productive Incomes. 1. Introduction. 2. Land, Labor, and Rent. That includes rent, the nature of labor, supply of land, supply of labor, productivity and marginal productivity, a note on overt and total wage rates, the problem of unemployment, entrepreneurship and income cost to the firm, business income, personal consumer service, market calculation and implicit earnings, vertical integration and the size of the firm. Next is the economics of location and spatial relations. A note on the fallacy of distribution, a summary of the market. Chapter 10, Monopoly and Competition. That includes the concept of consumer sovereignty, Consumer Sovereignty versus Individual Sovereignty, Professor Hutt and Consumer Sovereignty. Then there's cartels and their consequences, cartels and monopoly price, cartels, mergers, and corporations, 
economics, technology, and the size of the firm, the instability of the cartel, free competition and cartels, the problem of one big cartel, the illusion of monopoly price, uh, definitions of monopoly, the neoclassical theory of monopoly price, consequences of monopoly price theory, the competitive environment, monopoly profit versus monopoly gain to a factor, a world of monopoly prices, cutthroat competition, the illusion of monopoly price on the unhampered market, some problems in the theory of the illusion of monopoly price, Location monopoly, natural monopoly. Labor unions, restrictionist pricing of labor. Some arguments for unions, a critique. Indeterminacy, monopsony and oligopsony. Greater efficiency and the Ricardo effect. The theory of monopolistic or imperfect competition. Monopolistic competitive price. The paradox of excessive capacity. Chamberlain and selling cost, multi-form prices and monopoly, patents and copyrights. Chapter 11, Money and its Purchasing Power. Introduction, the money relation, the demand for, the, for and the supply of money. Changes in the money relation, utility of the stock of money. The demand for money, which includes money in the ERE and in the market. Speculative demand, secular influences on the demand for money, demand for money unlimited, the PPM and the rate of interest, hoarding and the Keynesian system, social income expenditures and unemployment, liquidity preference, the purchasing power in terms of trade, components in the rate of interest, the supply of money, the stock of the money commodity, claims to money, the money warehouse, money substitutes, and the supply of money, a note on some criticisms of 100% reserve, gains and losses during a change in the money relation, the determination of prices, the goods side and the money side, goods side and the money side, interlocal exchange, Uniformity of the geographic purchasing power of money. Clearing in interlocal exchange. Balances of payments. Monetary attributes of goods. Quasi-money, bills of exchange. Exchange rates of coexisting monies. The fallacy of the equation of exchange. The fallacy of measuring and stabilizing the PPM. Measurement stabilization. Business fluctuations. Schumpter's theory of business cycles, further fallacies of the Keynesian system, interest and investment, the consumption function, the multiplier, the fallacy of the acceleration principle, the economics of violent intervention in the market, introduction, a topology of intervention, direct effects of intervention on utility, utility ex post, free market and government, triangular intervention, price control, triangular intervention, product control, binary intervention, the government budget, binary intervention, taxation, income taxation, attempts at neutral taxation, shifting in incidence, a tax on an industry, shifting in incidence, a general sales tax, a tax on land values, Taxing excess purchasing power, binary intervention, government expenditures, the productive contribution of government spending, subsidies and transfer payments, resource using activities, the fallacy of government on a business basis, centers of calculational chaos, conflict and the command post, the fallacies of public ownership, social security, Socialism and Central Planning, uh, Growth, Affluence, and Government, which includes the Problem of Growth, and Professor, Professor Galbraith and the Sin of Affluence. Next is Binary Intervention, Inflation, and Business Cycles. 
Boy, this is a real table of contents, isn't it? Inflation and credit expansion, credit expansion and the business cycle, secondary developments of the business cycle, the limits of credit expansion, the government as promoter of credit expansion, the ultimate limit, the runway, runaway boom, inflation and compensatory fiscal policy, and then conclusion, the free market and coercion. Appendix A, government borrowing. Appendix B, collective goods and external benefits. Two arguments for government activity. Uh, I'll read the power market table of contents maybe some other time.